There was a tournament here just last weekend, and only two fish over three pounds got weighed in. This is the Army Bass Circuit, and you can see we got a bunch of losers, bunch of weirdos. It's gonna be a good day oh, yeah. with the freak, the long bearded Gary Fry. Yes, we're teaming up in Palestine Lake for a tournament. You see that? We've fished for 11 minutes. That's our first one. Flipping. I'll give you the details of that later, but right now I can catch another one. September 5th, 2020, and we are exploring the infamous Palestine Lake. Palestine Lake is located in northern Indiana and it's notorious for huge huge bass people think of the midwest you're never going to see seven eight pounders well this place does produce them but like any body of water in the midwest right now in early september the bite is really tough here with my main man gary fry we're about to attack them we're gonna punch these fish no no some guy reached out to me on instagram message Number two, Carry Fry. He ate it and he ran with it. Did he? Yeah. Good bite. Good bite. Right out of that kind of stuff. Right that point. Yeah, sir. <laughs> you know, we were just talking. Where should we go next? Where should we go next? I think we're gonna stay here. We haven't got big ones. You know, Palestine Lake's known for them giant bass. We haven't got any of those, but the bite out here has been incredibly tough. Last week in a tournament took 15 pounds to win. Second place got 10 pounds, so I will say we're on pace to get at least 10. Three fit keepers in? Three keepers I, we got. I don't know what time we got, Kerry. What does it say there? Uh, 9.24. We've been at 9.24, been at it for less than two hours. So we're on pace. One first. interesting i'm not boasting i'm not boasting but carrie has not gotten a bite flipping yet and really the only difference between he and i has been the weight i start off with a, a one ounce weight he started off with three quarter ounce so he switched over he just switched over to one ounce be interesting to see if he now starts getting bit too i actually started off with a one ounce bait because when i was here in july that's what you needed to penetrate to punch to punch in here. The weeds and duckweed were much thicker than they are, it is today. And as soon as we got here and started looking at the pads, I actually said to him, I was like, oh man, I think I got too heavy of a weight. And he had a three quarter ounce on. So I actually, actually kind of predicted in my head, well, Carrie's probably gonna catch two or three in front of me and I'm gonna have to switch over to the three quarter ounce. Just tells you, fish don't read a book. They don't, they don't ever listen to, they don't watch a hunter fish know how they're supposed to behave. Because as a general rule of thumb, we talked about this, you want to use as light as weight as possible to still penetrate. Well, his three quarter ounces penetrate out of any trouble. We'll see. I also think maybe one reason I got bit and he hasn't is that I'm just, I'm, I'm a much better looking guy. When, uh... Whew. Whew. Five, There's Gary Fry taking care of business. One ounce weight. That's one ounce weight. Shonk. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's that's what we're after, Kerry Fry. That's what we're after. Right out of these pads. Woo, woo, woo. Well, Fry, we're two and a half hours in. We've got six keepers. We've lost a couple too. That probably would have helped us, but we haven't lost anything enormous. What do you say, my man? What do you predict? It's all about the weather today. I think you're right. I think you're right. We've spent a little time on the lake. No success whatsoever. Saw some fish on the ground, but 
no bites. And I tell you what's changing here though, this morning it was calm. This wind is really starting to pick up. It's gonna blow into these pads. Do you think that's gonna impact how they're biting, Terry? Yeah, it's been little points where the wind's been blowing into, but the biggest key factor is the weight that we're using. I started off with a three quarter, and he had a one ounce weight. And he caught three, and I finally switched, and then he caught another one, and then I started getting bites. I had no bites on the three quarter, but when I went to a one ounce weight, it's all about the, all about the weight. It doesn't make sense. Do you think a three quarter to get through uh, the lightest weight possible, but that's not always what the fish want. So we figure out that the one ounce is definitely the way to go. We'll see how, how it happens the rest of the day. Let me tell you my philosophy about why we're eating a quarter an ounce instead of three quarters. My philosophy is who cares? We got it figured out. Car flipping hooks, 50 pound braid, seven and a half foot, medium heavy, action rods. Palestine Lake. Are you? Thick. Safety first with the hunter fish. When that one ounce bull away comes flying at you, get out of the way. That happened about 10 minutes ago. Got some nice swelling going on. Ow. You might have a ball fish now. There's another one. Oh, that's not a very good spot to put a camera there, Gary, right there. <laughs> well, it's the power. It's the power of that. <laughs> How'd you summarize the day, Gary? Uh, the bite was better this morning. We uh, ended up catching Probably close to 15 keepers a day, but it definitely died off in the last three hours. Boy, did that ever. Only one thing left to do, and that's go weigh him in. Is that five? 257. Wouldn't get seven to five. Did you? Twelve zero nine. Good job. Where's that foot us right now? Very so far. Very so far. Until. We Steve don't have, line. We don't have There's a six point one nine Palestine stud. The fish, not Steve Klein. No. It's gonna be close. I don't think so. I don't think it's twelve pounds either. Thirteen fifty seven. Now we'll go down to four for a weight of twelve zero nine. Pays one hundred dollars. Andy Bus and Terry Frey. Yeah.